the mouse. The question is, where's the doorbell? <laughs> what? Joan, you came barging in here again without ringing the bell. Lynn, I am not on the hot seat here. You are. Maya called me, and she told me about the mouse. I lived in this house for ten years, and I never had a pest problem, besides you. Stop tripping. The mouse is gone. Oh, good. My cat got rid of him. What cat? Killer. I got him from the pound. Lynn, you can't have a cat. The lease has a very clear no pets policy. Killer's not a pet. He's an employee. And he keeps the house pest free, and I pay him with kibble and love. <laughs> Joan, before you go off, Jojo is not my pet. He's my percussionist. He's not half bad. You like ham and cheese, right? Yeah. Good, you'll get that tomorrow. <laughs> Today you get leftover chicken, dark meat. You know you like it. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 baby, check the color ID. Is it 212 Erigo? Yeah. Then don't pick it up. It could be my publishing company. So? So they want their third book, and I'm not ready to give it to them yet. My, they're just going to call back. <sighs> well, if they call back, tell them I went on a writer's retreat up in the woods, off the grid. I cut my hair into a little short afro. Why do you have a little short afro somewhere all up off the grid? That way they know I'm serious about my writing and I didn't have time to get my hair did. Speaking of which, I got to get dressed and get my hair did. I thought we had a baby appointment today. We do, after I get my hair did. Maya, you know I can't be at the doctor's after you get your hair did. I gotta be at the garage. No, no, come on, baby. Baby, come on, I'm sorry, okay? That doctor can look at our baby anytime. But Ronnie can only squeeze me in between a, a press and bump and a cellophane. <laughs> William, mm -hmm. where have you been? Uh, jogging. You went jogging without me? Well, I had to get an early start this morning. I didn't want to wake you. Well, we always go jogging together. Well, it's still early. Get out there, woman, and pound the pavement. I said we always go jogging together. No, I I love jogging together, but I have to get out early this morning. I have to file a brief, prepare a deposition. Ooh, I'm gonna get my edges edged. But we're still in our honeymoon phase, and I just want to do everything with my boo. Mm, of course you do. So, let's make our morning smoothies. Well, Monica, are you sure you want to keep down in those smoothies? Why not? Well, they're not exactly smoothing out the old hips now, are they? See, I, I know you're not calling me fat. Oh, come on, Monica, I'm not calling you fat. On those pudgy little fingers fat. You know what? I'm gonna leave before I make your lip fat. Where are you going, little piggy? To market? Sucker. Here's your coffee, baby. What? Oh, well, okay. Mm. <laughs> Good morning to you, too. Lynn! Lynn! Why are my trash cans still out on the street? Hey, why are you always busting in here like I got contraband in my house? Which I don't anymore. <laughs> Leaving my trash cans out on the street makes my neighbors think that I'm slovenly and I don't care. Joan, they're not thinking about you. You don't live here anymore. They don't know that. Yeah, they do. The whole neighborhood threw a block party to celebrate. <laughs> Whatever. Hi, I I'm Joan. Who is this? None of your business. Lynn, I don't want strangers in my house. He slept here last night, so he's not a stranger. Oh, really? What's his name? Not a stranger. <laughs> Joan, bye-bye. Go. Look, Lynn, I'm serious. Who is this man? He doesn't even talk. What, is he mute? <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I'll be damned. That explains a lot about last night. Late. It's just like going to Ronnie's salon is like going to Costco in the hood. Picked up dinner, bought these bangles, got some beef jerky for Jabari, and oh, 
Got my cute heel fix. <laughs> Have you lost your mind? Now, you know the doctor said you're supposed to stay off your feet because of your fibroids. Well, how do you know what my doctor said? Because I called her when I couldn't reach my wife. Darnell, you know that Ronnie has a no cell phone policy up in the salon. Oh, but folks can come all up in there selling assorted meats and what? You know, something, you know, something. That ain't even the point. That ain't even the point. Why did you change the appointment anyway? Baby, you know how much I wanted to be there. Darnell, it's not like they were looking at any new pictures. They were just looking at, at the... At the positioning of the fibroids. Well, if you have all the information, why are you all up in my face? Because I'm worried, baby. I'm concerned. I've been pregnant before, Darnell, okay? I know what I'm doing. Yeah, see, but this time around, you got a delicate womb. And until you get through the first trimester, the doctor said you need to stay off your feet for at least four hours a day. I was off my feet mm. when I got my hair did. <laughs> I'm sorry. I changed the appointment, okay? You know something? You act like you in this pregnancy all by yourself, like last night. And I kindly suggested that you have some more spinach. And you snapped at me and said, I don't want no damn spinach. I want chips and guac. Guac's green. Calm down. Okay. Well, since we're being all honest, you're just all up on me all the time. No, you just want me barefoot, pregnant, eating spinach, and looking a hot mess. <laughs> See, I just want to be there. I'm trying to make sure that you're doing everything right for our baby. Mm. I want to be a part of it. I wasn't when you had Jabari. Remember? I'm peeping through the window, begging your mother, Miss Wood. Can I see my baby mama? She let you see me eventually. After I married you and painted her house real quick. <laughs> William, what are you doing with our $80 wine and our $50 cheese? I'm securing the necessary accoutrement to make up with my wife. Big fight? Oh, a doozy. We haven't spoken in two days. Thanks to you, buddy! <laughs> so it worked? Like a charm. I know I pledged till death to his part, but I shouldn't have to die in order to have a minute to myself. <laughs> you know, picking that fight gave me a chance to get a brief file, take a client out to dinner, even squeeze in a round of golf. Yeah, and I noticed you had time to get your edges edged. So, well, you see how I do. <laughs> I love Darnell, and I'm so happy that he's excited about the baby, wants to be a part of it, but... But what? Girl, he's just been irritating me. Mm -hmm. Tell you what's irritating. This heifer. Lynn, Lynn, that Vegematic car of yours is leaking. There is vegetable oil all over my driveway. It's not leaking. I just spilled a little when I was filling the tank. Okay, well, from now on, you need to fill it up on the street. No! The hose won't reach. I've got the used oil in the garage. You're filtering used vegetable oil in the garage? No. I'm storing it in the garage. I'm filtering it in the bathtub. Okay, okay, shh, you too. Hello? Oh, hey, baby. Yeah, yeah, my feet are up. Um, I don't know, Darnell. Lynn, how long am I feet been up? Hmm, about half an hour. Three hours. <laughs> yeah. Okay, baby, I love you too. Bye. Oh, I swear that man is like a prenatal Nazi. <laughs> Yes, Darnell. Baby, y yes, sweetie, my feet are still up. Lynn, will you please tell him? Darnell, her feet are still up. Darnell, how do you get grease out of concrete? Love you, baby. Oh, also oh, because my husband's a grease monkey, he's supposed to know all things grease? Mm. Oh, my God. Damn it, Darnell. Yes, baby, I... Oh. Oh, hi. Hello. Um, yes, everything, everything's good. And in fact, I'm, I'm still on, on, on that writer's retreat. <laughs> yeah, and in fact, I'm, I'm still plucking dead leaves out of my very short afro. <laughs> Excuse me? Now what now? What? Well, wait, 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 wait. Listen, listen, listen. Hard for you. Bitch, I just cut off all my hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a nice day, my ass. I was my publisher. Good news, I hope. They're canceling my third book. Oh, my God, Maya. I'm so sorry. But, I mean... 
totally unrelated. You owe $10 to the bitch jar. <laughs> oh my God, now I owe $10 for saying bitch jar. Oh God, now I owe 20, I just said it again. Man, we all have problems. <laughs> Maya, why would they cancel your book, sweetie? They said that the sales on the second book were way below projection, so. I don't understand. I mean, Mama said they sold like hotcakes at the Black Expo. You know what, Maya, it's their loss. No. No. Ain't nobody lost yet. Okay? They're gonna want me back once they see my next book. All right? Now all I gotta do is write me a book real quick. <laughs>
So you want to stay mad so you can have some me time? Monica, that's really scary. We're already at the point where we need time apart, and we should still be in the honeymoon phase. Yeah, I know. It, it's stupid. You're damn right it's stupid. Well, I don't know, because I'm even stupider. I picked a fight, so I could have some me time. Where the hell would you get a half frame off the wall? Don't make a bit of sense. Don't know a damn thing about love. You've been talking to Joe. Maybe. William, I thought we agreed when we got back together under no circumstances were we ever to take relationship advice from Joe. I know, I know. But I was desperate. I couldn't shake you. <laughs> My bell does ring. Oh, my bad. I mean, your bell. No, then, me, I, I just came to, oh, oh. I, I thought I told you to water those plants. No, 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 it's okay. I'm sorry. It's not why I'm here. I, I just came to apologize. I was over the top. Just because you like to have sex with a wide variety of random, meaningless people does not mean that you're a whore. Thank you. And I'm sure that your stale, brittle cookies are the only bright spot in Aaron's day. And the Iraqi children. <laughs> anyway, as a friend, I'm backing off as your landlord because I am lucky to have a great tenant like you. Are you sure? Because, I mean, you're the one who said this was a bad idea from the get-go. And you're the one who said you had control issues about this house. You're the one who said that running to a friend was worse than loaning money to a friend. I was wrong. I, I shouldn't have said it. You're the one who said that the oil would ruin the bathtub and all the grout around it. No, I didn't. <laughs> you should have. Maya, what the hell are you doing? Just getting some pickles. Go back to bed. Where the damn pickles, Maya? We were out of them, which is why I'm ordering them online. Ma, I don't even know what else to say. I tried reasoning, tried to be caring, but I'm done talking. I'm just gonna sit here and make sure that you take it easy. No, no, I am not a child, okay? And why are you acting like one? I'm trying to save my writing career, so I'm gonna sit here and write my book. Right now, I don't really give a damn about your career. Oh, there's the old Darnell, who doesn't care about anyone else's career but his own. I'm not saying that. I just want you to wait. I can't wait. If I wait, I lose momentum. That doesn't matter. It does. Not right now, it doesn't. You know what, Darnell? I seriously cannot talk to you about this anymore, okay? You're driving me crazy. I wouldn't be if you would just slow your ass Stop down. Stop telling me what to do. Stop working on the damn book, man. It's stressing you out. You know, out. the only thing that's stressing me out is you, okay? You're so all up on me. You know, you got me so worked up. I'm, 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 I'm like sitting here peeing myself. Maya, that's blood. Joan, what are you doing here? Baby steps, Lynn. Baby steps. 